So YouTube have just been hit by a huge painful fine from the FTC and I'm afraid they're going to pass on some of that pain to many of you. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. Hello, I'm Rob and welcome back to VidIQ, educating you on your YouTube journey. And usually I'd start all of my videos with some light entertainment and some upbeat music, but unfortunately this video will take on a more somber tone. And this time it's not because YouTube are laying down the law on creators because of some disruptive influences who are causing issues on the platform. No, this is all to do with YouTube. They have messed up. Earlier on this week, the Federal Trade Commission fined YouTube a whopping 170 million US dollars for collecting data on minors and then using that data to target ads at them. The FTC state that these practices are in direct violation of the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act and breaks their rules. And if you're wondering how big this is, think Facebook and Cambridge Analytica. It's that type of nuclear social media detonation. Now, while the fine is undoubtedly huge, to be honest, we as creators don't really care about any of that. We want to know how it's going to affect us and our content if we create videos for children. And the implications are pretty severe, starting with this. YouTube must cease immediately collecting any insights or data from videos that are targeted at children under the age of 12, as well as asking for parents' consent to use any information collected on children under the age of 12, such as their name or a image. Now, of course, this early stage we can only really speculate on what that's going to mean for the average video creator but imagine not having all of the analytics from your videos as you usually would do and going through a lot more checks and balances when you not only start a YouTube channel aimed at children but publishing videos as well. Coincidentally YouTube have been trialing a video self-certification program whereby you answer a series of questions to ensure that the video you are publishing on YouTube meets their guidelines but imagine having to do that for every single video you publish if you are a kids content creator. I've got a support page in the video description if you want to check out more on that and that's how we could see children's content evolving on YouTube. But as we say right now it is all speculation because we are so close after this decision from the FTC and YouTube. But those aren't the only changes that are going to affect the platform. In a blog post YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki confirmed this. YouTube will treat any data from anybody watching children's content on YouTube as a child regardless of the age of the user watching the video content. YouTube will stop serving personalized ads to any viewers watching children's content and features such as comments and notifications will be removed from such content as well. Creators will have to tell YouTube that their content is targeted towards children. So we were talking earlier about self-certification. This is going to be forced self-certification. And even if you try and avoid all of this, YouTube is going to use machine learning to try and identify kids content whether or not you say it is. So that also could mean that there are some false positives for content that isn't targeted towards children, but YouTube treats it just like that. We've had that problem before. That is a lot of changes. And again, let's speculate on how that might affect the average video creator. No notifications means that your subscribers aren't going to know when you publish new content, which means that your new videos aren't going to get the velocity that they used to get. Help driving views and watch time and click through rate, which means that YouTube will distribute your content more, as YouTube say in their own analytics. Without comments, which has been a problem for six months now in the children's category on YouTube, it means that you can't really connect properly with your community. And if advertisers can't directly target the exact viewer they want to hit with their advertisements, surely there's going to be less of an incentive to put ads on children's content, meaning that YouTube earns less money and you earn less money through AdSense and advertisements. That, if nothing else, is the hugest potential impact that's going to hit all of these children's content creators on YouTube. And the yardstick for all of this is going to be Ryan's Toy Reviews, one of the largest YouTube channels, one of the most profitable YouTube channels if we go by raw view numbers and AdSense, how is that channel going to 
cope with all of these humongous changes. It'll be interesting to see. Now there is a lot more we could talk about regarding this news story and we have in a special podcast. We've spoken to Sean McKnight who has several YouTube channels, well over a million subscribers to talk about the topic. And there are lots of scary things and here's just a small snippet about how if you try and avoid YouTube self-certification with children's content, you could end up in hot water with the FTC directly. The FTC has actually made a statement that by YouTube implementing this self-certification, and if a creator goes out and intentionally creates content for younger kids and certifies that it is not for children under the age of 13, just simply to bypass the policy and make the higher CPMs on YouTube proper, that that opens up that content creator for exposure to the FTC, that they can call out full force on that content creator. That's, that's actually scary to me to wow. hear that. Yes. And that is a full half an hour conversation with Sean. So if you want to learn everything there is to currently know about these changes to children's content on YouTube, links are in the video description. Now it could be argued that YouTube has never been a video platform for children because when you create a new account, you have to state that you are over 13 years old. But in reality, there are so many accounts that have been created on YouTube that are used by children that it is rife on YouTube. And some may say that around about a third of video content on YouTube is for children under 13, 12 years old. Like many things on YouTube, as the platform has grown so rapidly over the last decade, it's gone unchecked, not regulated enough, and now, rather than being a subtle and gradual change towards something that is more suitable for the platform and better protects children, it's all happening all at once. YouTube have been able to negotiate with the FTC a little bit of time to help prepare any of you content creators who are effective. And they say that within four months, all of these changes will be in effect. Effectively, the start of 2020. As always, we'd love to hear your thoughts, especially if you are directly affected by all of this. Let us know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. And if you can, enjoy the rest of your video making day.